Welcome friends. Now we are going to learn about AWS identity and security in the coming series, uh, which consists of various uh, AWS services on cloud, including uh, uh, artifact and more tools. So these are the identity and security tools or services available on uh, AWS cloud uh, using which you could uh, secure your uh, everything cloud instances, be it from uh, mobile services or web services, uh, Elastic Beanstalk or EC2 instances, uh, S3 storage, or things like that. We have an artifact, a certificate manager, cloud HSM, our directory service, a guard duty, inspector, a secret manager, a single sign-on, or WAF and shield. We have these services at our hand, and we could use uh, these services to secure our, our applications on the cloud. So these are the things. We have IAM that we already know, the identity and access management, that is the most vital tool for each uh, AWS instances. Uh, if you're creating a, a group or a project with code commit, uh, you need an IAM role. Uh, you need IAM role for a wide range of services like in DynamoDB, AWS Lambda, and things like that. It will authenticate various users where you could create your identity uh, and different kind of roles. Similarly, there are various services that go hand in hand for same authentication, authorization, and security perspective. So let's start with uh, AWS Artifact which is a no-cost self-service portal for on-demand access to AWS compliance reports. Here you have access to the reports that you could uh, create on-demand for self-service uh, for analyzing various perspectives of your services that are running there. Uh, you can generate a central resource for compliance-related information that matters to you. Uh, Artifact provides you on-demand access to security and compliance reports and select online agreements. Uh, with AWS. The reports available on Artifact uh, include your service uh, organization control reports, uh, payment card industry reports, and certifications from accreditation bodies across geographies and compliance verticals that validate the implementation and operating effectiveness of AWS security controls. Uh, agreements available on uh, Artifact includes a business associate uh, addendum and a non-disclosure agreement, the NTA. You have the uh, artifact directly from the management console where you can view different kinds of reports or documents. It provides a customer with uh, easier access to obtain uh, different reports uh, as well, uh, based on different kinds of government or regulatory authorities' authority, so of integrations and regulations. Uh, there are few benefits of Artifact. Uh, it provides you a comprehensive resource on different auditors, the issued reports, the certifications, accreditations, and other third-party attestations that you need for your uh, publication of your instance or applications or projects on the cloud. You have the agreement governance to review, accept, and manage your agreements with AWS. You can apply your AWS agreements to current and future accounts with your organizations. So you could uh, be in a safe state, uh, be it an NDA, non-disclosure agreement, and things like that. You could create uh, those agreements or sign up on the existing ag agreements anytime you want. Then you have deep insights to perform uh, diligence of AWS and enhance this transparency for security and controlled environment. You can monitor and secure the appliances uh, with AWS with immediate access to new reports. There are different reports out there uh, which have been tested by auditors or third parties for compliance of global, regional, and industry specific security standards that you need to follow for deployment of certain instances or certain uh, projects. Uh, so it is very simple to uh, build a uh, report on AWS Artifact. Uh, when you uh, move to the security and identity category on Amazon Cloud, uh, you have this Artifact service. And from this Artifact, you could 
create or generate the report. Uh, moving to the report section, you can generate the artifact of particular uh, things like uh, cloud computing compliance control catalog C5. You could get this artifact uh, by hitting the get this artifact option. You would download a certain format of uh, documents on the system. You can go through the document and think, uh, include the things, implementations. You can get uh, AWS certificate manager certificates with an elastic bin stock. You can add different domain names for review on the SSL and TLSL certificates. or artifact repositories to build and upload on the sections. You have the artifact repository, the EC2 environment. Uh, you can build and upload the Jenkins with the artifact using a simple uh, XML type syntax. Uh, then you have the EC2, the production server, staging and test server that you could select a version and deploy on the test servers. The artifact uh, service uh, is in the format of either the JSON or the XML format, that you have the key value pair of uh, details. You could define the version, the statement, the effect, allow or deny, the action, and the get artifact, the resources, and the ERN for Amazon resource name for the respective uh, artifacts, and things like that, that you could attach with different services. You have different stages of development for the source code to build and the staging. Uh, and there you have the artifact roles uh, for the documentations and things like that in the DevOps or software development lifecycle. Here, uh, when you are uh, trying to build certain uh, project using the DevOps on cloud, you have the Git repository, the Git, GitHub uh, or code commit, you could write the code, you perform various operations like webhook on API gateway, making a get or post request, uh, allowing it to, to integrate with the Lambda scripts uh, using code build and artifacts role to integrate these services or uh, add a report to, to authorization of the bucket or different things. So this was a brief introduction about the artifact. Uh, we, we can get our artifact. It is not a difficult thing, but there are a huge number of artifacts out there and you have to choose uh, for a proper uh, licensing and you may need a legal person for different uh, stages. Uh, we will be learning uh, more security and identity services on Amazon Cloud. Uh, till then, keep learning and keep moving ahead.